Hi and welcome back to this video and hope that you are doing well and you are safe outside these days. I know it's uh, really hard days on uh, on the earth so this coronavirus is like uh, screwing up everything for us. Um, but despite that we need to keep going and we need to keep doing our things and today I would like to share with you a solution that uh, it took me a while but I found the solution to it or problem that I found uh, um, that took me a long time to find a solution which is running uh, and install uh, PrestaShop into WSL uh, WSL 1 by the way so previously I was doing that on um, you know, on the docker and it was kind of let's say let's admit that it was a bit slow and uh, yeah but it was doing the things but uh, on the uh, WSL is much more quicker than uh, the W the, than the docker I'm kind of uh, lost um, so um, finally I, f I managed to do that so I just want to share with you this because I was following the um, the problem on github and it has been like three or four months and people keep complaining about that the fact when we do install uh, it reach a certain level when it does start downloading um, the language packages packages sorry uh, it fell into an error and it does stop the installation and it seems like or turns out that it's problem related to WSL itself not to uh, PrestaShop uh, on its files or whatever so the problem is actually a permission problem so let me just boot up my services right here because uh, uh, everything was down so I start by sudo um, service apache 2 start okay I misspelled the password okay now if I do refresh I'll be having my um, the classic press the shop uh, page front page and um, the solution for this is uh, all the credit to um, to uh, a dude called Brian Durek. Hopefully, I spelled the name correctly. So he did explain all this uh, in details and what was the problem exactly and how to fix it. And right here, I'm running into 500 because um, the MySQL service is down. So I have to just turn it up. Let's take a second. Oops, still down. Okay, still not booted up. Okay, just give it a second. And there you go. So uh, the website is up and it's uh, really running very smooth. And you can say it's uh, similar to a real. Uh, it's it's kind of really fancy to say it's real Linux uh, kernel running here. But um, yeah, so it's doing the job. And at least we have that command of Linux since I cannot do a real Linux because I, I struggled a lot into that. So let's do, don't get into uh, another subject. So I'll just uh, so I'll be sharing the link with you in the description of this video to the to the to the correction to the fix. And simply you have to execute and simply you have to create um, a WSL config file under your etc uh, by default this file can by default this file that's wsl.conf won't be there so you have to create it also if it's there by any means you have to simply add these three lines and you have to sign out and sign in that this effect took place and don't forget to boot up um, your services whether Apache and MySQLs and everything should be fine except that here it's taking uh, I don't know it's kind of slow to boot up but uh, at least it's uh, running properly and the installation should go well with your presto shop and what else um, I think uh, okay so if you like this video don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel first if you're not uh, if you like it too give it a thumb up uh, if you like the three put and leave a good comment uh, if you need any kind of suggestions or you have any question about whether PrestaShop or uh, Node.js and recently Java then 
don't uh, be shy and use that bloody comment box below uh, thanks for watching and see you in another one